Thrive Architect is one of the best front-end landing page builder out there. So in today's video, we're going to review Thrive Architect and how it compares to a lot of the other landing page builders. Hello and welcome to today's video review. This is DK and in today's video, we are going to review Thrive Architect. Now, Thrive Architect is a landing page builder from theme at Thrive Themes. They have a lot of other plugins as well and all of these plugins are extremely conversion focused, which is what their basic theme is all about. And you will see that in Thrive Architect as well. We'll be reviewing some of their products later, some of their other products later. Here you're seeing the dashboard at my blog at dkspeaks.com and you're seeing the Thrive dashboard which has two of the products that I have installed on this blog. The first one is Thrive Leads and the other one is Thrive Architect. You can find Thrive Leads review in my channel. You can go ahead and search for that and see the Thrive Leads review. Now what we're going to talk today is about Thrive Architect. Now Thrive Architect is a front-end landing page builder and editor. It completely changes the way you manage WordPress. Now, Thrive Architect was earlier called as Thrive Content Builder, but they have added a host of other features, simplified the entire plugin, and uh, given a lot of additional things in Thrive Architect, and that's when they renamed it to Thrive Architect. So we'll quickly go down each of these uh, elements that are there in Thrive Architect, and I'll show you how and why is it that it is one of the best landing page builders out there on the internet. Now, like what I said, you're seeing the dashboard here. You can access all the Thrive themes products that you install on your blog on this one page. So you can see here there is Thrive Leads and Thrive Architect. And here you have a handy video tutorial, which basically is a quick walkthrough of how Thrive Architect works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new page. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to create beautiful, amazing, nice looking landing pages and that too without actually toggling between the WordPress editor, pop-up boxes and your uh, front-end editor. So it's that simple. So let's first go and start with creating a new page. I'm going to create a new page here. I click on add new. It will take me to a new page. I am giving it a name. Let me give it a name Thrive Architect and I save it. Once it is saved, you can see this button here, Edit with Thrive Architect. All that you need to do is just click on that and it opens up another window, which is basically your front end editor where you can do pretty much anything that you want with this page. Now let that page open and we'll start from the very scratch so you see that the page is loading so it loads into my basic theme now this is my blog theme the theme that is running on my blog now you can create a page out of this as well all that you need to do is just drag and drop elements here i'll quickly show you one example here like for example i want a paragraph to be added i just drag and drop it here and you can start editing it in this pretty much the same page itself which means it'll be your basic theme but still you can use thrive architect to create a custom landing page for yourself. Now, this is not what we want to do. So what we want to do is we want to build a landing page from scratch and I want to show you how simple and easy it is. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to page setup and I'm going to click on choose a landing page. Now there are a lot of default templates out here. You can see here these are all ready-made templates. Let me just quickly expand one of it and show you. Now this has a home page, a lead generation page, a confirmation page, a download page, a lot of these things you can see here. And similarly, there are a lot of the other templates. You can use any one of these to start off with. You just need to click on one of them and click on the page that you want to go to, like for example, this one and click on choose template and it'll load that specific template here. I'll quickly show you how the template looks and how you can go about editing each of the elements there in the template. So you can see here that the template has loaded and all that you need to do if you want to use the same template and edit it, all that you want, need to do is just click on each of these elements. You can change the image here. You can edit the phone numbers. You can edit each of these elements here and you can even change the background image here. You can go here and you can check this. You can go about doing anything that you want to do with the image here. So it's very simple if you pick a landing page, but like what I said, that is not what we want to do. Let me quickly show you how to start from 
scratch so we're going to start from scratch here we are going to pick a landing page and I'm going to pick this blank page I want to build from scratch so it's going to be an absolute blank page and I can start doing whatever I want with that landing with that blank landing page so here it is loaded and I, I can now start whatever I want to do on this landing page so first let me go about putting some landing page settings in place now I want a full screen option so I want this content to cover the entire screen now I can add a background color if I want but I don't want a background color right now background image right now instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a background color which is basically a light black color okay so I have the color here and you can select the landing page fonts that you want you can pick from a wide variety of fonts you can inherit the theme fonts you can use web safe fonts or you can use google fonts so let me go about picking one of these fonts here that is roboto i'll apply it for similarly you can pick fonts for header one header two header three hyperlink settings as well let me pick a different color for my hyperlink I'll pick this one and I go back now I have a background I have uh, selected my fonts so let me go about doing each of these edits on my landing page the first thing that I want to do is I want to insert a background section here and in this background section I'm going to insert an image which is basically my logo so I'll go and search the media library for a logo so this is my logo I will insert that in here so it's showing here I can you can edit whichever way you want you can just position it wherever you want now let me first go and uh, position this vertically here and the layout and position let me give it a slight padding of 15 all throughout and I think that looks decent what you can do is you can save and then go and take a look at the preview here this will show you a preview of how that will look on your page so this is how it is it looks pretty fine it looks decent you can see here the logo is here and now we can start adding the next background section so I'm going to add the next background section and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my menu here so let me drag and drop this menu here can see this is a custom menu I can select whichever menu I want I'll pick my main menu and the font is not visible here so let me go ahead and change some of these elements here so I change it to red and I want to position it in the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this this so here it is position in the middle if you want to position it towards the left you can do that as well whichever way you want you can add paddings let me add five pixel padding throughout so that's how it is I can change the font for this menu as well let me go ahead and make it all caps you can see here save it and check the preview how it looks Let me refresh the page and you can see here this is how the menu will look now moving on to the next one what we're going to do is we're going to add another background section here and I want this background section to be white in color 
So let me go ahead and pick this one and give it a white background. Now you can do whatever you want with this background. If you want, you can add an image as well. Let me show you that as well. Let me add an image here. I have a few images like for example this image. I'm going to add this image in here. Apply. I will remove this. Apply. and I want it to be a little bigger so let me go and put it as match height to the screen you can see here now it has matched the height to the screen minimize it and this is how the background image will look now you can add any text that you want onto this so let me first uh, add a column section out here what I'm doing is I'm going to add two columns and let me position it in the center what I'll do is I'll add some text to this one I think I would rather add a header here and you can do whatever you want to this one you can select all of this give it a bolder look center align and let's go and change the font color to white in addition to that you can give it a highlight if you want you can see here this is how your page looks let's refresh and see the preview you can see here this is how it looks and you can do, pre do pretty much anything that you want if you don't want a highlight here you can just take that highlight off and give the column an entire color like for example if it's a column Let's go to the column and give it a background color here. I am removing this highlight and I can give this column a color. So this is a column. Let me go ahead and give it a color here. So that's the color here. You can see here and then let me give it a padding of 15 and save it. now you can see here this is how it will look you can adjust the transparency if you want for example the background here or you can what you can do is you can adjust the transparency so that it gives it a nice see-through look you can see here and if I apply and save it refresh the page and you can see here this it gives it a nice uh, see-through look here so you can see here these are some of the basic elements and you can design your landing page whichever way you want and it's all drag and drop click and edit it's that simple and it has a ton of uh, simple elements that you can use like for example let us quickly go through some of these elements you can see here it has a paragraph text heading image you can add buttons as well let me quickly show you how to add a button can see here and the best part is you can do anything that you want pretty much anything that you want 
uh, with this button can change the colors let me go ahead and pick this color I like this color for my buttons and uh, you can change the color of the font from a white to a black apply and click on the font and I want it to be bold so let it be bold and I would also want it to be caps you can see here how easily I was able to get this uh, button up and running I save it and I refresh it and I can show you how it will look you can see here how it is looking and the best part is that you can do a lot of things like for example you can even edit and give it a decoration for example you, know, you can uh, give it a slanted edge give these boxes a slanted edge the the background section a slanted edge you can uh, work on a lot of uh, hover effect like for example in this in the case of this button let's quickly look at this button so this is a default state you can go to the hover state and then change the colors from uh, an yellow to a black and let's change the button text as well to white and let me show you how it will look so we are refreshing the page you can see here how that changes and it's all drag and drop and click that's it it is that simple so with Thrive Architect, the best thing that I liked is that it is an actual front-end editor because a lot of the other front-end editors that claim to be front-end editors, the problem is that when you click on any one of those elements, it opens up in a new box and then you do all of your uh, data entry or your content entry into that new box, which then again you need to save and that is when it starts reflecting on the front-end. But with Thrive Leads, the best thing is that it's click and edit, that's it. You click and directly edit it on whatever front-end you're working. So it's a simplicity of Thrive Leads and it's extremely fast, it's blazing fast, it won't impact your site load speeds whatsoever. Now, like what I say, I was saying, let's quickly look at some of these elements. Now, these are some of the foundation elements for Thrive Architect. We have a lot many other elements as well. Like, for example, we have more tag, a click to tweet button, content reveal. So, for example, if there is something that you want to hide, and then reveal after a specific time you can do that with content reveal you have a countdown timer which is a nice looking timer you can see here there are different options you can pick any one of them you can add that content timer onto your landing page which again is very simple and we have other features like credit cards countdown which is an evergreen countdown that will be there on your landing page you can even add custom HTML if you want. Discuss comments. There are dividers, different kind of dividers. There is a spill counter, which again is something that I use quite often on my opt-in forms because that gives it a nice look. It gives, it shows the uh, the, the potential subscribers as to how much they are they've progressed in terms of uh, filling up the form. So it's a nice fill counter. We have Facebook comments if you want. Google Maps. You have hundreds of icons. You can see here. So you can see here, this is a library of icons that you can use. And the best part about this icon is that you can select any one of them and then you can change the color of this icon. Let me quickly show you that. So for example, I've changed this. Now I change the color from this one to a red. I can do that as well. So that again is an extremely handy option if you're building landing pages. So you have that icons, you have lead generation options to put onto your uh, landing page if you're using Thrive Leads you can even use the opt-in forms that you've built on Thrive Leads onto your landing pages so that's another option and if for example you're building a landing page for your blog this 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 feature comes in extremely handy which is basically a post grid so what it does is it picks a list of the posts that are there on your blog and it shows up here now you can edit pretty much every element here like for example I am editing the image height. I want the font size to be a little smaller. I want the text color to be white. You can change the read more button. You can do pretty much anything that you want. 
you can add text shadows the layouts positions like for example if you want a padding in between you can do that backgrounds you can change you can change the color of the background to maybe white apply and once I save it let me show you how it looks on the front end page can see here how that looks on my blog now this is all just a few clicks that I've done and that is how I have put these things together here you can imagine the ease and uh, the, the, the speed at which you will be able to build your landing pages now in addition to the post grids you have progress bars you have uh, social shares you have social share opt buttons you can add star ratings as well if you want your visitors to rate something you can go ahead and add star ratings there are a lot of stylized lists you can add testimonials you can add a toggle a box there where there will be different toggle options like for example I use it a lot in terms in, in when I build the FAQs for my landing page because it's a nice option where they just need to click on a plus it expands otherwise it's all in a collapsed form so it doesn't take a lot of uh, space on the landing page you can add videos, WordPress comments, uh, sorry, WordPress contents, and you can also add numbered lists as well. In addition to that, if you have any short codes that you've built in Thrive Beats, you can use that as well here. And the best part is that Thrive uh, Architect and Thrive Leads can be linked with any autoresponder. It has a connection API connection available with any autoresponder. So you need not worry which autoresponder you're with, you'll be able to link that up with your uh, landing pages so you can see how how easy it is and what are the elements that are there on Thrive Architect and uh, this is a Thrive Architect sales page and you can see here some of the, the extremely handy things uh, that are available on Thrive Architect is put there like for example the call to action buttons the testimonials the style list the credit card icons animated countdown timers in addition to that you can also see the building blocks uh, for the pages it's mentioned in here about what each of these things do so if you have any questions around what are the elements that are there on Thrive Architects you can quickly go through their sales page and they have put everything out there uh, so that you know what each of these things does and that's what Thrive Architect is Thrive Architect is probably one of the easiest and the best landing pages I have used a lot of the other landing pages like for example Optimize Press I have used Beaver Builder I've used Profit Builder. I have used a lot of the other uh, landing pages. I like Optimize Express and Profit Builder as well. I like uh, their features, but I prefer Thrive Architect a lot when I'm building my landing pages for my blogs and for my sales pages because it's it's pretty easy and it's very fast, and I don't have to spend a ton of time uh, break, breaking my head around uh, how to put some element into a specific design that I am looking forward to in that landing page so Thrive Architect is one of the best uh, landing page builders out there you can let me know your thoughts by commenting in the the, the comment section below uh, if you have a different thought please let me know we can engage into a healthy conversation and we'll be able to get some doubts clarified but so far as I have used I think Thrive Architect is one of the best uh, landing page builders that I've uh, ever used so if you plan on buying Thrive Architect, there is a link in the description box below. You can go ahead and click that link and buy Thrive Architect. Let me put a disclaimer there. It's an affiliate link. And if you buy using that link, uh, I will earn a small commission at no extra cost for you. So that's entirely your choice. But if you don't want to use that link, you can directly go to the Thrive Themes website and order Thrive Architect directly from there. So go ahead. Order your copy of Thrive Architect today if you haven't done it and start building extremely beautiful looking and uh, extremely functional landing pages. So let me know your thoughts about this review by commenting below and we can start a conversation there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with a lot of blogging tips and internet marketing tips and a lot of the other uh, handy product reviews as well. So with that. This is DK saying goodbye. You all have a good rest of the week.